Good morning, commissioners. Good morning. Fire Chief Terrazas, Ms. Radfish with the City Attorney, Ms. Inez. I am a firefighter, David Ortiz, with the Community Service Unit, Public Information Officer. Today, we are here to honor members from Fire Station 61 and members of the Metropolitan Fire Communications Division. And this is for their excellent patient care, assisting a person in cardiac arrest. I would like to invite up to the podium to be publicly recognized, Captain Ricky Crawford, Captain Arturo Tarango, Engineer Clark Hills, Firefighter Fiat Lee, Firefighter Paramedic Jose Veliz, Firefighter 911 Dispatcher Pablo Flores. I'd like to also mention the members that could not be here, Apparatus Operator Ryan Carlos, Firefighter Paramedic Christopher Hughes, and Firefighter Lawrence Newberry III. On the morning of June 10th, 2019, at 8.45 in the morning, Light Force 61, Paramedic Rescue Ambulance 61, were dispatched to a reported seizure near the intersections of Fairfax and Wilshire, and if you're familiar with the area, in front of the Los Angeles County Museum of Art. There was a reported jogger down of unknown age having a seizure. While en route, resources were updated and told that this seizure patient was in cardiac arrest and that there was bystanders doing hands-only CPR. When they arrived on scene, that is in fact what they found. They, were, they found two civilians doing hands-only CPR very effectively on this patient. Without missing a beat, Life Force and Rescue 61 transitioned, uninterrupted CPR, and began their patient care, doing CPR for this person and beginning ventilations for this individual who could not breathe for themselves. They also used their defibrillator to shock this person three times because their heart was ineffective. Rendering advanced life-saving drugs, they were able to obtain within 10 minutes of their arrival a return of spontaneous circulation. And what ROSC is, is a resumption of sustained perfusing cardiac activity associated with significant respiratory effort after cardiac arrest. Due to the privacy restrictions of federal law, we are not allowed to identify the individual, but we are happy to report that only five days later, this person was released from the hospital. It is noteworthy to mention that bystander CPR, doing hands-only CPR, is key prior to paramedic arrival. And that is why the Los Angeles Fire Department encourages everyone to learn hands-only CPR. I will now read one of the certificates. In recognition and sincere gratitude for your heroic courage, diligent efforts, personal initiative, and expedient assistance which directly resulted in saving a man's life during a cardiac arrest emergency on June 10, 2019 at the 5800 block of Wilshire Boulevard in Los Angeles, the Los Angeles Fire Department commends you for your extraordinary life-saving efforts to a citizen of the city of Los, Angel Los Angeles. Presented this first day of October, 2019, Ralph M. Terrazas, Fire Chief. Well, here's another example of uh, the chain of survival working. And it started when the uh, person called 911. And actually before that, when you think about it, somebody had the knowledge to do hands-only CPR and started CPR. This was a jogger on, on the sidewalk. And somebody had that knowledge and started it. And then somebody else, may have been the, the same person, we don't know, dialed 911. And then that started our people en route. And the local station is Fire Station 61. And then en route to what they thought was a seizure, it turned into cardiac arrest. And that was communicated to the companies before they got on scene, which saves valuable time. Once you get on scene, you confirm the patient's condition, and you can immediately start into doing your assessment and then getting the patient ready for a shock if necessary. Um, this is another example of showing that system works. And our people don't like to take credit for it, and many times they don't want to be recognized. But I think it's important that we do that, that the public hears these stories 
and understands that our system in Los Angeles is a very good one. I would say it's an excellent one, including not only suppression things, but emergency medical services. So I want to join with the group in recognizing the outstanding efforts of the members of Fire Station 61 and the dispatcher who is critical to this call. With that, I'd like to turn it over to uh, Captain uh, from 61s. Cap, it's all yours. Thank you, Chief. Good morning, Fire Commissioners, Madam President, City Attorney, Ms. Iningas. Um, these fine gentlemen that uh, I had the pleasure of working with um, actually performs at a very high standard, as we know. Uh, part of this situation that happened that day was we had a mixed crew that day. Um, but we had people that was working from different stations. We had a captain who decided to uh, take a position on the rescue ambulance that day um, and work as a paramedic. And it shows that no matter where you're from on the LAFD, when this situation arises, we're all going to come together and perform at a very high level. Um, they actually just sprung right into action, kept themselves very calm and cool-headed, and um, really made my job easy that day. And so I wanted them to be recognized because they're the ones that actually makes the LAFD look great. So thank you. Thank you.